Jamila with Jewel Beauty and Wellness again, and today we are combining locks. So these are really long locks, and the bases aren't really, really small, but because um, I know my client's hair is going to grow longer and longer, we're going to combine them so that the weight of the lock will not pull these out at the root. See how the root is still nice and thick, but it's getting just a little bit of breakage in between. So in order to alleviate that, we're going to make the bases stronger by making them larger and they'll be able to hold more weight per lock so what I do is I actually just thread one of the locks through here and I try to keep the parts nice you see how there's still kind of some organization with the parts so I get two that are close enough to each other to where it looks like you know one block see I wouldn't take these two because that's gonna make a U shape but I would take these two because that's gonna make a nice rectangle or diamond shape so I'm going to take those two and I'll take these two. I thread them into each other and then I'm just going to palm roll together like conventional lock maintenance. Now what happens because hair will always fuse together, after a while this is going to fuse together and then this is going to fuse down the length of the lock. And once it gets fused a good portion, I'm going to cut one of the stems off, but we can talk about that later when, um, when it's necessary. Today I'm just showing you how to combine locks and this is just one way to do it there are other ways to do it you can sew them together um, you know with stitch it together with needle and thread you can wrap wiring around it or wrap you know weave thread around it to bind them together and then take it off or you can um, you know stitch it stitch into the lock you know just put them together and stitch into the lock and pull pull the string tight enough to where they kind of look compressed into one and I could actually stitch this entire um, length together if I wanted to but that takes too long I like this this better because I'm all about efficiency get people in here get people out of here and they will keep coming back so again I threaded those two together I just pulled one through the new growth now what I'm doing right here is I want my part to be straight so I'm gonna pull this hair out and I'm gonna add that to the lock up there now what I did was I held it right here at the base while I pulled it so I'm not snatching his head. Did you notice how his head didn't move when I pulled that hair apart? That's because I don't want to torture my client. You have to find ways to make things not hurt or to hurt as little as possible. So again, if any of this is helpful, then go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel or you know connect with me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Tumblr. I'm in all those places as um, Jamila Sampson or Jewel Beauty Wellness and at Jamila Praise on Twitter. And please feel free to send me your questions. Um, you know, if you have some tech tips about making my videos better, I'd be glad to listen to those as well. But send me your hair questions and I'll answer you with a video. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.